It's a Halloween showdown in Worcester as the Flyers travel to the University of Arena in the first meeting of the season with the Worcester Wolves. A place in the final four of the BBL Cup is on the line. Early in the game and Herring Jr. feeds Greg Street from beyond the arc. Street went four for four on the night from long range, scoring nine of his 16 points in the first quarter alone. Flyers lead 22-13 with just over four minutes to play in the first. Moments later, and Jamal Williams knocks down a pair of back-to-back -back trays. Wolves go on a quick 7-2 run to bring them back within five. As Williams drives the lane, he's fouled basket counts. Wolves trail 37-32 with just over five minutes to play in the second quarter. Final seconds of the half, and Doug Herring Jr. knocks down the step-back three on the buzzer. Flyers with an 11-point lead heading into break. Herring Jr. would end with a season-high 32 points. Now into the second half, Herring Jr. continuing with his hot hand from beyond the arc. He'd get it done on both ends of the floor, coming up with the steal at one end before blowing by his defender for the pull-up jumper, giving the Flyers a 64-51 lead midway through the third. Clock winding down. Herring draws in the double, kicking it out to the wide open Roy Owen, who once again beats the buzzer with the triple. Bristol holding on to a 10-point lead at the end of three. But the Wolves began to cook up a rally in the fourth, knocking down back-to-back -back trays to bring them within four. Chavez Holmes drives the lane, finishing with a three-point play to make it a one-point game now. Holmes pulled in a team-high 16 points for the Wolves, but it just wouldn't be enough as the Flyers push the lead back out to eight. Herring Jr. finishes the soft touch at the rim, then Greg Street finds a Leaf Bland down low. He goes to work for the hoop and the harm for two of his 17 points on the night. And that would put the game away. Flyers come out on top 90-82 to in Bristol advances to the final four of the BBL Cup in just their first season as a BBL franchise. A reminder, you can next catch your Flyers in action when they welcome the Sheffield Sharks to the Wise Arena, a possible preview of two teams we may see in the BBL Cup final. For Flyers TV, I'm Matt McCulloch. We'll see you next time. Uh, it, it's a historic moment for our club, you know, first year in the BBL and to make it to the semi-final of the cup, uh, you know, beating Worcester Wolves on their home court. I mean, we're talking like a team that, you know, uh, won, has won a BBL championship. We're talking a team that is in the top four. So it's a historic moment and, it, and I'm really proud of the guys. You know, they deserve all the credit. They, they worked really hard and, you know, they saw real big toughness today. This week was a very good week in practice uh, and I think guys were determined. You know, they, we believe in ourselves, we believe in our group, our group is together, we have good team chemistry and we wanted to put a, a good uh, performance to, uh, you know, a good defensive performance and I thought we did that today. Yeah, it's a great achievement for us and the team, definitely. I mean, we worked real hard this week in practice. Um, we, well, as a club, we have a good tradition in the, uh, any cup competitions and stuff. So we definitely want to make our stamp in the BBL and kind of gain momentum for the regular season too. Uh, we, we had a good week of practice this week. Uh, coach kind of stayed on me the whole week to just continue to be aggressive and look for my shots and make plays for others when, I, when the opportunity arose. Tonight I was able to put the ball in the basket. 